Let's move on to the next decimal place value spot we know, and that's the hundredths. And again, this is hundredths. Don't forget that, hundredths. We're not talking about the whole number, we're talking about the decimal. Remember, the hundredths place is two places behind the decimal point, which would be here in the number 2 and 564 thousandths. So if we are rounding to that place, we're going to use thousandths to help us determine if we should round up or round down. Now again, think of this as 2 and 56 hundredths. Think of it as 2 and 560 thousandths. And think of this as 2 and 570 thousandths. And what would be between 560 and 570? You got it. 2 and 565. 60, 65, 70. Simple. Now, where would this go on the number line? 564. Would it go on the left side or the right side? Well, it is less than 5. It means it would be on this side of the number line. And because it's on this side, we would round down to 2 and 56 hundredths. Let's look at one more. 182 and 55 thousandths. So let's round this to the nearest hundredths. I'm looking here. There's my hundredths place. Tenths, hundredths. We're going to look back to the thousandths. Now, what would five thousandths tell us to do? Well, because it's right in the middle, just as a rule, we always round up when this number or the next place value spot is five or more. So the five is going to tell us to round up to 182 and six hundredths. Now, your turn to try.